Yo, what's up? So, uh, you may have noticed I'm sitting extra low today because uh, this desk is just a fold-out table I borrowed from my grandma. <laughs> And today I welcome you to the third installment in the Browsing AliExpress for Random Shitty Guitar Gadgets series. You'd think I'd run out at some point, but AliExpress never ceases to disappoint. So we are now here on AliExpress, and as usual, I will just enter Guitar Gadgets and see what happens. So I think we might have our first hit here. A new guitar capo, sliding and moving capo for folk guitars, metal, plus environmentally friendly soft rubber guitar parts accessories. So what this looks to be is a capo that, well, that you can slide across the guitar neck to, to slide a capo across the guitar neck. I'm not sure what the applications for this would be, but it's made of high quality zinc uh, alloy material by die casting, so there is that. So five bucks with shipping, I say add to card. <laughs> Hi, it's me, but from the future. So we're going to be doing things a little differently this time around. What I'll be doing is jumping back and forth between reading out the product description and reviewing the product so as to, you know, be able to add chapters to this video and improve viewer retention and all that shit, so get with it. I'm sorry that this thing kind of ruins the shot, but what it does help me to do is give you sort of a better idea of what's going on on this greasy table from a top-down perspective to make me feel like more of a professional. <laughs> The guitar rolling capo. <laughs> so this is how I got it. It's packaged just fine. There are minimal instructions on it in case you're a fucking idiot and need any. <laughs> but let's crack it open. That was surprisingly easy. So one thing that I do remember from ordering this was that it said it's made of rubber, which it's made of about the same rubber as rubber bullets that police would use to, you know, silence peaceful protesters in the US. <laughs> These are also some rather high tension springs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go grab my cheapest guitar, which is the cheapest guitar on eBay from that one video I made, and I'll put it on that because I don't give a shit if I ruin it. <laughs> So let's go ahead and put this capo on. It's um, supposed to be pretty simple. You take off one end of it, sort of uh, wrap it around your your guitar neck here, and then you close it. And as I predicted, I fear for the wood on my guitar. But let's not make any premature assumptions here. By the way, the, the picks that I'm using, uh, this is my 1.5mm Delrin pick with my face on it. These are available in my eBay store. Go grab some. <laughs> So it sort of works as a standard capo, but that's not the gimmick of this thing. The gimmick is that it's supposed to be able to, you know, slide up and down the fretboard. So, let's see. Alright, final verdict on the guitar rolling capo is that I have preached adamantly in the past against the use of clamp style capos is the pressure that those things put on your strings and your frets is enough to damage your strings and your frets. Now that is nothing, that pales in comparison to the pressure that this puts on your strings. So even if it worked properly and didn't get stuck all the time and was actually rubberized instead of just being plastic that indents slightly when you put that much pressure on your strings with it, it would be a no because this will damage your instrument. So back in the thing it goes and it shall meet its unfortunate fate sometime later this week. That's all that was left of it. So this looked pretty promising. It's a bass repair wrench, smooth surface guitar accessories, metal multi-tool spanner wrench for music lover. And since I do consider myself a music lover, I think I'm the key demographic for this product. So apparently what this is, is like a small little compact wrench thing that would fit any size nut that you typically find on a guitar. So if this is any good for the $4.50 that it costs, it's going on my workbench permanently. So up next, we have this sort of wrench spanner guitar multi-tool thing. And in order to put this to the test, I have to go grab a guitar and something soft to put it on. So let's start with feature number one, which is the fact that it's usable as a screwdriver for things such as pickguard screws. Not the best of screwdrivers, but in a pinch it'll do the job. It's also apparently capable of lifting off volume and tone knobs effortlessly. And that is also true. And while we have this exposed nut here, why don't we give the wrench function a try? And it is everything I wanted it to be. Now, it isn't only applicable for guitars, since you know there's a lot of places where you might find those sort of hex nuts, but a traditional electric guitar is a place where you will inevitably encounter a lot of those, and 
For under five bucks, this is an absolute steal and a must on every workbench and it's going on mine forever. All right, I've seen these around before, but not in this exact form. This is a guitar chord trainer with 18 buttons. Folk guitar chords practice assist tool finger teaching aid for adults, children, beginners. So what this is, is it's supposed to assist you in playing chords by you know, strapping this onto your first three frets of your guitar and then instead of you pressing down on the strings with your fingers to strum chords, you press these buttons that push a little rubberized things down on the strings instead so your fingers don't hurt. I am diametrically opposed to the idea of this product, however I'm excited to see how it works. What I'm not stoked on is the idea of spending 15 US dollars on it because I don't believe that it is actually marked down from 39, but anything for the content. Ta-da! So it comes with a guitar chord learning sheet, but it comes with a guitar chord learning sheet that shows you where to put which finger on the fretboard rather than which number to press on the product that they've just charged you 15 bucks for. So while this is the correct way to learn guitar, they've just sold you the incorrect way of learning guitar. So this is useless. So let's do this thing. Uh, I think it's supposed to go on... Is it this way? No, like that. All right, that's how it's supposed to fit. I'm sure professional grade <laughs> rubber bands to fix the thing to your guitar neck so it doesn't and boom you've now got yourself guitar but stupid <laughs> I am not very fond of this product and I intend to make that very clear. I'm not that um, secure about my golf swing, because golf is a rich old man sport, but... I'd say that was pretty good. This is the guitar head clip, mobile phone holder, live broadcast, bracket stand, tripod clip, head for iPhone 11X, support desktop music holder. Now although surprisingly few of those words had anything to do with the purpose of this product, <laughs> The product photos are quite self-explanatory. You've all seen those headstock POV guitar playing videos. That's what this is. This is how you make them. You buy a clip for your headstock and you clip your phone to it. <laughs> now I actually wouldn't clip a modern iPhone to these at all because that would weigh down your headstock way too much. <laughs> so while I don't see all that much entertainment value in a product that seemingly very little could go wrong with, it's five bucks, so um, add to cart. <laughs> the guitar, headstock, uh, tripod, phone, all the POV video recording thing. You can assemble these two parts pretty, pretty simply, pretty easily. So this product, while it does genuinely smack of build quality for the few bucks that I paid for it, is very, very heavy, and therefore once you've attached a phone to it, should be no fun at all to have on the end of your guitar neck while you're trying to keep it balanced and, you know, play. But there is only one way to find out. <laughs> I hate to say this because I went into this product not optimistic whatsoever, but that was so much fun. <laughs> if you frequently post like Instagram videos of yourself playing, buy one of these, please. It will do you a great service. This is so much fun. This will not be the last time I've used it, not by far. This is such a simple product. It's basically made out of two products that existed previously. This is a clipboard clamp and this is a phone holder clamp, but it's so cheap. It's so much fun to use. Genuinely 11 out of 10. I love it. This product wins the episode. <laughs> so I've seen this particular product photo around a lot on AliExpress, particularly ranging from like 50 cents to $3, where these sellers would just always offer very few and very obscure payment methods, which on AliExpress, that's always kind of a red flag that you will get ripped off and they'll just keep your money and the product. But this one is just under $20, including shipping and the seller does accept PayPal which always offers some security for the buyer so I feel a bit more confident buying these ones. 
Now this is a very self-explanatory product. I've advertised like good versions of this before. It's just a wireless guitar system. See, this is definitely real. This isn't Photoshopped at all. This is always the angle that um, amp input jacks go at. Also features unbranded Stratocaster clipart.png. <laughs> but for 18 bucks, I at least expect to receive a product. So let's go for it. This to me is the most anticipated product of the night because I wasn't sure whether I was actually gonna receive something or not. <laughs> so let's take a peek inside, huh? Um, it comes with operating instruction, that's, that's nice. In charging, the red light lights for a long time, set it charging. When it is full of power, the green light off. Shall inset the A8 transmitter plug into the output socket of audio equipment. Shall insert the A8 receiver plug into the input socket of voice box equipment. <laughs> By this way, you can record the voice made from instrument or share it on the internet. <laughs> Guarantee letter cannot be reissued again, so please keep it carefully. So it comes packaged all right for, you know, the 20 bucks that I paid. It feels almost slightly rubberized, but like in that horrible and cheap way, which I really hate. But given that I paid $18 for it, the build quality actually seems semi-solid and, you know, I'm just kind of happy this product actually exists and wasn't just a Photoshop mock-up to scam people with. It also comes with a dual micro USB charging cable to charge each individual one slower than if you just plug them into different outlets. But having been an avid fan of dank pods for the past year or two, I have to point out that the tips are gold-plated. <laughs> now I checked again and the AliExpress product description says something along the lines of A. Great high quality sound or whatever and B. Less than 4 milliseconds of latency. I will be the judge of that. <laughs> now I'm not going to record the amp with a microphone here because then I'd end up having to sync the audio track to the video and obviously I wouldn't know how much latency there was so I'd just try to sync it as perfectly as possible. So I'll give you the camera audio for this one. <laughs> So while I was playing, I had the thought in my head that I was going to say, well that went pretty well for 18 bucks. However, then I turned the volume down on the guitar when I was done with the demo and um, well this happened. <laughs> So I'm afraid that they do now actually suck in every single way possible and I'm going to have to give them a failing grade. And you know what that means. <laughs> ah, sufficiently wrecked this as well. All right, here's something else that I have genuinely never encountered before in my life. The electric guitar string stretcher, plastic guitar string, stay in tune, musical instruments for acoustic guitar for ukulele gift. But well, what it looks like is like it would ruin your guitar strings. <laughs> Not sure what these little like triangle cutouts are for. Maybe that was just to use less plastic. By the way, in case you were wondering, this product has been brought to you by the Outdoor Drop Shippings store. <laughs> For the low, low price of $4.04, plus the price of a new set of guitar strings once this product ruins yours, so let's give her a spin. <laughs> So I think I've by now gathered what the actual intention behind this product is and it's that, you know when you put new strings on your guitar, you have to play them for a while, you know, do a lot of bends, maybe use the whammy bar a little bit to sort of break in the strings so they eventually do stay in tune while playing and don't keep going out of tune like they do when they're fresh. So I think what this thing is supposed to do is sort of simultaneously leverage your strings upwards and downwards in a few spots so that you can just put new strings on, torture them with this thing for a few minutes and then start your gig. But I'm not too keen on even giving this product the light of day at all because it very much falls into the category of product that is supposed to replace you, replace the actual playing aspect. All playing counts as practicing. Breaking in your strings is like a half hour of playing that you're missing out on if you're using this piece of garbage instead. It is however quite unfortunate that this is one of my least favorite products of the night because for some reason they sent me two of them. <laughs> so now I can really get, you know, sort of a tandem stretch thing going, you know, really... Ah, f I know that was the joke that I was going for. Oh, but it, it hit my hand and that was painful. Not find <laughs> the rest of it. 
there were two of these and they were this big initially. The One Piece Plastic Rhythm Sand Shaker, music finger ring for ukulele guitar adjustable auto strap guitar ukulele instruments tool. So while I fail to recognize what would make this an instruments tool, the purpose of it seems to be that you strap these little cans onto your fingers with you know those rubber bands and there's like what appears to be little metal beads inside of them or something and you shake them like little maracas but on your fingers while playing guitar. And it comes in a variety of cute little colors but I think I'll go for pink. So that is just over three dollars that I'm about to spend on a little plastic can with metal beads in it, but you know, content. So here it is. Now I did recall and I did go back and check to make sure that I did in fact order the opaque pink version and not the sparkly transparent brown one, but they sent me the sparkly transparent brown one. So uh, here's that I guess. Who really gives a shit? You know where this thing is gonna end up. So let's see if we can get a good jam going with this. Alright, so this is absolutely made of crap, it sounds like crap, it sounds super annoying and it actually doubles as the world's most annoying guitar slide as well. So yes, you already know what I'm gonna do to it. Clean up after yourselves. So that's the video, thank you so much for watching. Quick side note, these videos really are not cheap for me to make. I spent like 60, 70 bucks alone on the junk for this video that I got from AliExpress. And on top of that comes the prize for the golf club that I used to destroy all the crap last time that was a baseball bat. And I only turn 18 on the last day of April. So if you do see an ad in front of one of my videos, just know that the AdSense money doesn't go to me yet, not a single penny of it. So what I partly rely on are ad reads. I couldn't get someone to sponsor this video in time, otherwise there would have been one. And my lovely Patreon members who help fund this content in exchange for all of these beautiful benefits. You can already get all of those benefits for $1.90 a month, but there are higher tiers in case you want to pledge more to support the channel more, which a lot of people have actually chosen to do. So here are the names of all of the currently active patrons. The red highlighted ones are subscribed to the $11 tier. And there's also a little bit of merchandise, you know, pics, stickers, that kind of stuff, all linked in the description. Thank you. If you enjoyed this video, then you can watch my most recent upload somewhere up here. You can sub to my channel somewhere down there if you feel like it. My most recent AliExpress video is somewhere up here. All my social media, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook are linked in the description. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, I'll see ya.